what the media isn't telling you about the market right now. Look, last year when the prices were appreciating so much, it was such a seller's market, it's all the rave, rapid appreciation. And now that it's a buyer's market, now that the buyers have an immense opportunity, there's literally a 34 plus percent discount for the buyers right now. And I'll explain that math in a second. But look, the media is not putting it out there. They're not saying that there's more homes on the market for buyers to choose from. They're not saying that the buyers can negotiate, get some seller concessions, put more money in the pocket, ask for repairs, not settle. There was a statistic that during the pandemic, homeowners that purchased during that time, 26% felt regret and remorse because they settled. They went into the house and said, ah, I'll take the smaller backyard. Ah, we don't need a pool. I just need a house. We need to get a house during the craze. And now they're regretting that. Now look, they have rapid appreciation. Appreciation was over 24, 26% in some areas. And so even if it comes down a little bit now, they can sell and capitalize on that proper move that they made and now they can go into this market and find the house they really want and not even be rushed but now let's get to the math of the discount i'm going to share my screen because it's math not magic and the path is in the math so you have a five hundred thousand dollar sales price let's just say we're talking about that half a million range we're going to put three percent down is fifteen thousand dollars eight thousand dollars in those closing costs Total out of pocket, $23,000. This was probably about six or seven months ago. Now you have your agent find you a property where you can negotiate the seller paying some of those costs. Now you have, again, same payment, same closing cost, but now we have the seller covering that. And so now this buyer, the current today buyer is having the seller cover those costs. They're only coming out of $15,000. They're saving $8,000. That is where we get the 34% number. Now, remember with real estate, not like stocks, if I took my $15,000 investment and I bought $15,000 worth of stock and the stock goes up 10%, that means the $15,000 went up by 10%, that's $1,500. In real estate, it's different. If I invest my $15,000, like in this example, for a $500,000 home, the asset is what I bought. And the asset goes up by 10%, that is $50,000. So I invested 15 to get 50 in that example. So again, in real estate, it's the bigger investment that you're going in on. But remember, you paid $8,000 less in today's market with the example I showed right now. And I'm happy to run the math for you as a client or for my realtors watching this video for your clients so you can see how the advantages are playing to the buyers today. Now, I'm gonna share another screen. This is called the real estate report card and I can pull this for any area of town. Now, right here, this gives a, a purchase price around 535. We're so an appreciation again, pretty level, you know, coming up in the next year, but forecasted over the next five years to be at 17.49%. What that means is that a buyer today in five years at that price point can recoup about $141,000 in that equity. That is a sound investment. Now, People are asking me about the crash versus a correction. The, the data doesn't lie. And remember, data over drama. So right now, we're seeing that household formations, now that's where someone graduates college, moves out of the house, buys their house, they've formed a house. A couple gets married, has a baby, forms a house. A couple gets divorced, one spouse keeps a house, one goes and buys another one. A household is formed. That's household formation. On average, we're at 58,000 per year. Now, as we move down, the actual homes being built is 24,000. So that's less than half. That means that you cannot build enough homes to supply and satisfy the demand. So we have an excess demand, decreased supply. Now, there was a quote back in January from the National Home Builders Association that said, I'll come off screen, 
that said that if there was no supply chain issues at all, and they had, by the snap of the fingers, they were able to get all the material that they needed to build, it would still take them seven years to catch up with the demand. So I have no doubt that we will continue to have a supply and demand issue which only means appreciation. That doesn't mean 23, 26, 30% appreciation. It just means like real estate has always been. It's a steady escalator of appreciation. Maybe there's a little yo-yo action on there. So it's going like this, but the trend line is a long-term investment has always been up for real estate. And you can look in the history books. So look, if you want me to run specific numbers for you, your scenario, your down payment, what does that increase of wealth look like? I'm happy to help. And I'll leave you with this. Two thirds of the wealthy have grown their wealth through real estate. Allow me and my team to help you do the same. Thanks.